This is a tough story because the accusers are anonymous and their claims ambiguous, and the stories that our reporters are hearing often conflict. One of our reporters spoke to a man who worked with Kane at the Restaurant Association, and he told us, quote, there was a pattern of behavior on Herman Kane's part that was repugnant and ongoing. But we also spoke with two women who worked with Kane when he was CEO of Godfather's Pizza, and they told us they were shocked by the allegations and had never seen Kane do anything of the kind. While folks wait for definitive answers, the Iowa caucuses are just two months away. CBS News political analyst John Dickerson is here. And John, I wonder, what are they saying in Iowa about all this? Over the last couple of days, I've been calling Republicans in the state, and here's what they say. They are, are giving a lot of slack, no snap judgments to on Herman Cain because they don't trust the mainstream media. And they also, he has another shield with Iowa voters, which is he's not a politician. And a lot of his support comes from people who are so dissatisfied with regular politicians, they cut him a lot of slack. But the patience is not unlimited. He's got, if, if shoes continue to drop and this keeps going on, it might make people think that in an election where they really want to beat Barack Obama, that he's just too unpredictable a risk. Now, the candidate who polls even or just behind Kane, of course, is Mitt Romney. How's the Romney campaign handling it? He was asked about this today, and Romney stayed very far away from it. He doesn't want to look like he's taking advantage of this because he wants those Kane voters in the end. He's been running a kind of slow tortoise, slow and steady race while Bachman and Perry and Kane have zipped ahead. Per, uh, Romney has just been doing his work, and that's been paying off for him, and that's what he's doing in this case. He's playing the long game, and every day that there are stories about another candidate's weakness is a day it's not a story about his weakness, and that's another day he inches closer to the finish line. John, thanks very much. Let me bring Jan Crawford back in from Washington. Jan, what about the other candidates in the race? How are they handling it? Oh, well, very carefully. I mean, obviously, they recognize there's an opening for them if this continues, if they can pick up those supporters among the social conservatives. And so we saw Michelle Bachman saying last night that Republicans can't afford a nominee with any surprises. Now, most of the others, others have refused to weigh in, although Newt Gingrich today defended Kane, suggesting that this was just a witch hunt focusing on gossip. Jan, thanks again.